Welcome to the Santu Pearls stock market commentary video, your weekly window on stock market technical conditions, featuring the proprietary bull bear point and figure market breadth summary chart for June 10th, 2018. Market breadth. With this past week's market advance, our bull bear point and figure ratio at 1.51 rose from 1.01 last week, continuing within bullish territory. The total count of securities in bullish or bearish patterns increased 2% to 2,928. The count of bearish stocks decreased 18%, while the count of stocks in bullish patterns increased 23%. The Santu Pearls PNF Market Breadth Summary Chart shows us a market now five weeks in bullish territory. Paid subscribers have access to the open office calc data from which the chart is generated. You may become a paid subscriber by visiting s2pmarketsignal.com, clicking membership, clicking register, and following the prompts. To receive the weekly Santu Pearls stock market commentary via email, free of charge, simply enter your name and your email address in the spaces provided and click subscribe. The well-known market breadth indicator, the Nasdaq McClellan Summation Index, rose 142 points for the seventh advance in nine weeks. At a positive 561.32 points, it has risen above the April and December 2016 and January 2018 tops and continues above the February 2017, May 2016, July 2016, and March 2018 tops, and continues below the remaining two tops above plus 100 in the last 30 months, and it continues above all five bottoms below minus 100 in the last 30 months. Volume Analysis in this week's volume analysis, the NASDAQ Composite Index ended in neither accumulation nor distribution mode, with average daily volume lower than the prior week. In the last two weeks, the NASDAQ had one accumulation day and three distribution days. Accumulation days are counted when the index closes up on higher volume than the prior market day, while distribution days occur when the index closes down on volume higher than the prior market day. Last week, the NASDAQ ended in neither accumulation nor distribution mode on higher average daily volume. Momentum. The CCI 20 daily at a positive 122.65 is down from a positive 184.15 last week without falling below plus 50. We continue to wait for the CCI 20 daily to return to the plus or minus 50 range for another zero line reject long entry signal. In Woody's CCI trading system, six consecutive bars above or below zero are required for a change of trend. The weekly CCI 20 of the NASDAQ composite index began a Woody's uptrend 110 weeks ago, while the daily CCI 20 began a Woody's uptrend seven weeks ago. The CCI 20 weekly rose to a positive 149.39 from a positive 107.71 last week, continuing outside the plus or minus 50 range required for a valid zero line reject long entry signal. Industry rotation the last two weeks. All of the top five industries are positive, and three of the bottom five are negative. Summary, some tech, retail, and REITs on top, gold and silver, and brokers on the bottom. Bullish, S&P retail, and REITs continue in the top five. Computer hardware and disk drives have entered the top five. KBW Bank has left the bottom five. Gold and Silver has entered the bottom five. Bearish, Brokers has entered the bottom five. Semis and CompTech 
have left the top five. Focus this week from www.zerohedge.com. Morgan Stanley, the tech bubble, quote, can burst at any moment without warning, end quote. The following are some key points and charts. Earlier this week, Goldman Sachs, whose market timing calls leave much to be desired, declared that tech stocks are, quote, not a bubble, end quote, and went so far as to predict that the secular increase in tech names could continue for decades, spawning vivid memories of Goldman's May 2008 prediction of $200 a barrel oil just months before the start of the Second Great Depression and before oil crashed more than $100 per barrel, wiping out a generation of Muppets. Now, with the rest of the world relaxing ahead of what has been called, quote, the most important week of the year, end quote, in its Sunday start, quote, what's next in global macro, end quote, note, Morgan Stanley's chief U.S. equity strategist, Michael Wilson, makes it a trifecta of urgent warnings about the tech bubble, sorry, Goldman, which Wilson says could face its moment of truth at, quote, any moment and without warning, end quote. It's unlikely the Fed can back off its planned tightening campaign as the economy is now overshooting the Fed's dual mandate of full employment and 2% inflation, according to Wilson. As Jim Paulson notes above, there is nothing particularly new about what is going on. Quote, technology takes over the stock market late in a recovery cycle, seemingly making the bull ageless, pushing portfolios toward a more concentrated new era exposure, stimulating investor greed bolstered daily by watching a chosen few, that is fangs, rise to new heights and convincing many that tech is really a defensive investment against late cycle pressures, which trouble other investments, end quote. Paulson did not predict how this would all end, but did post a rhetorical question, quote, haven't we seen this movie before, end quote. Indeed we have, yet as Wilson chimes in, the steady performance of these assets has only reinforced the perception that they are defensive. And here comes the warnings. According to the MS chief equity strategist, quote, the real risk may lie in the fact that what started out as an entirely reasonable theme may have run too far, end quote. So when does this latest asset bubble burst? Here is Morgan Stanley's conclusion. It's impossible to predict when the moment of truth will come. However, with financial conditions likely to continue tightening, it could be at any moment and without warning. While I'm not yet forecasting a hard rain for these assets yet, I did see some raindrops on the yellow brick road late last week. In the meantime, Enjoy your Sunday. And with all that said, the surest indicator that it's almost over for tech stocks is Goldman's sincere promise to Muppets, that is, clients, that technology is not a bubble. It means that Goldman is now actively dumping its entire prop and flow tech exposure to anyone gullible enough. To believe it. Thank you for watching this week's Santu Pearls stock market commentary video featuring the proprietary bull bear point and figure market breadth summary chart compiled by Donald Pearl, www.s2pmarketsignal.com. Hoping that you are enjoying a peaceful and pleasant weekend. 
that you're looking forward to a prosperous and productive week coming up and wishing you true success.